got a mouthful of Milano in my mouth. <laughs> they do. <laughs> and uh, they we're eat. doing, like I said, we're professional. You gotta expect that out of us. Yeah. Who gives a shit? We just play games, have fun. Whatever we're doing outside, doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I recorded while playing drunk. <laughs> I recorded while masturbating. No. That was one time. That was one time, okay? <laughs> that was one time. Anyways, um... Goddamn Super Metroid. <laughs> anyway! After me, that was you. After me, that was, um, your mission. Anyways. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Anyways, we're back in the Mega Man universe, and I'm continuing with 3. I realized I've got plenty of Mega Man games I still have to do. Oh, yeah. So, it's about time to get to 4. Alright, may as well jump into it. And well, good time, too, because Capcom did good! All their products to bring more Mega Man! Yeah, my only thing is, I'll believe it when I see it, and when I see it, I'm going to buy it. The trailer? Also, oh. Ferriman. Ha! Huh, now I have your power. Poop, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I do know, freaking. When I saw Mega Man 11, though, it looks good. It looks like a Zero Striker and Mighty Just looks like nine. a modern look for a, a classic style Mega Man game. It has Mighty Number no. 9 and uh, Zero Striker graphics. Oh, yes, of course. Household Robots Rock and Roll were created by Master Robot Designer Dr. Lane and Rejoinder. Oh, yeah, it was the first game that actually introduced a backstory. I forgot about that. Then one day, Mr. Robots all over the world were on the rampage of the world of the total chaos. Gee, I wonder whose fault that is. Asshole. Oh, wait, wrong asshole. <laughs> wrong series. Damn! Dr. Lane puts in your and that's why I just talked about it behind the various people. But he didn't know what to do. So he just thought of killing some old young boy. Apparently. Yeah. I don't know the fuck I'm thinking. Yeah, who knows? He's probably killed somebody. Rocky, my strong suggest is volunteer to be converted to a fighting robot. Oh, he did kill a young boy! Turn around! What an asshole! What a dick! Well, he was having to be a robot even before this. Oh, okay. The oh. The super robot known as Magnet was born. Okay. He was always a robot. Ah. They were both robotic assistants. Oh, yeah, they did say that. Whoops. Jeez, I don't pay attention to fucking anything. <laughs> I haven't played Mega Man games, okay? Mega Man Shadow Dr. Wild is the next person to make more peace and improve the main game in the fall. This repeats. As it always does. Look at the this country. Guy knew. <laughs> God damn it. How fast is the train going? I don't know. I can't really fucking tell at all. Dr. Cosmo. Mr. Mysterious scientist is making eight proper uh, robots and Ah! Again? Gee. Mega Man Shorts in Valley Game. This time, the power of a new Mega Man. Oh, yes! Charge Shot! That's yeah. right! This is the first game to introduce the Charge Shot. Yeah. And, where we begin, we're going after this guy. Oh, right! Oh, Toad Man, yes. <coughs> I will say right now, this is the last Mega Man, original Mega Man game I played. I didn't get all the way through. I think I get, defeated half the robot match. This is also kind of, um, raw. Like, I'm going live, basically. Yeah. I didn't do any practice beforehand. Hey, hey, well, you, you usually do it live. Yeah. Except for PSN Man 3, though. Oh, wow! How generous! Yep. It's like they know. <laughs> it's like you're gonna die, probably, a lot. So, take this. Oh, yeah, with this stage, the gimmick is that, um, when you jump in the air, as you can probably tell by the rain, if you can't, you get, get pushed back. back. Ah, it's like wind, I see. Which means you gotta time to jump a little bit. Oh, jeez. Uh, it's like freaking lost levels with the with a freaking wind mechanic. Jesus. Oh yeah, and yeah, uh, here. This and is a charge shot Oh, having that as a godsend. I know. It makes so many of these damn battles uh, easier. Man, makes me think. This is the first Mega Man game to somewhat drop in quality from two and three, but yeah. Then again, two and three were made. Makes me wonder though. Were they even as memorable if they had the Mega Buster in it? Who knows. To be perfectly honest. The fact they presuppose such a challenge like that makes them work out in their favor. Man, this one's still pretty hard from what I've heard, I think. This is one of the harder ones, actually. Okay, yeah. Alright, so never mind. They bounce it out. Man, two is also pretty hard. Oh, uh, yeah. Two was pretty hard. Three was pretty uh, good. Um, reason why I like three. Three was very good balancing. Although, yeah. the end of the game posed a damn hard challenge. And then the uh, last uh, fortress was pretty good. Pretty much he gifted you for gift wrapped you every single like collectible you could get your bricks on. Ah. Anyways, right now we are fighting 
giant robo snail. Snail, die. Stop getting in my way. Oh god! You dare face the might of. Okay. Was not ready for him to throw his eyes at you. What the fuck? Like I said, I'm going at this lion, so. I'm probably gonna get my ass handed to me a lot. Okay, I'm just trying to see some trivia for this game, just to look at it. First game of Mega Buster, okay. Oh, this is one of the first few Mega Mans, so the first one directly apply in its English language releases that Mega Man's name is Rockman. Well, they call him Rock in this. Well, they call him Rock in the, um, intro, so that's right. Right. Also, got damn it, he died. <laughs> okay, so they did officially... His care. It's another one of those Eggman <laughs> Robotnik things. His character is... Mega Man, but his name is Rockman, or Rock. It's another one of those. So, Capcom beat Sega to that one. Jesus. He is a giant talking egg. I am Dr. Robotnik. I'm, I'm a pingus. I'm well, a giant science. talking pingus. The greatest scientific genius in the world. Whatever you say, Eggman. Okay, fine. We can call me Eggman from now on. All right? You happy? Why do you call everything my eggs, though? Ow. Yeah. Sure. I mean, okay. It was always egg-related in Japan, but, well... I mean, it made sense, like, here's the thing, like... You it's not would... more threatening with English as Robotnik, though, but... I mean, it's more threatening, yes. Yep. Sonic Team, the Sega is like, you know what? Let's just make it friggin'... Oh, we got Rush Coil again. Yeah, we, we start off with Rush Coil from the beginning. That's right. You... Stupid fish. And all, these, all these other little bots that friggin' Wily comes up with. Why even waste his time? All right, and here we are, the hardest boss in the entire series. Ooh, ooh, I found another interesting bit of free. I guess I'll be safe for another stage. This is Toad Man. I guess I should look up the boss shoot, scene as well. You shoot, and you jump. Shoot, jump. Wow. Shoot, jump, <laughs> shoot, jump, shoot, jump. Very hard. Oh my god. Very, this very... works the X3 boss of their weaknesses. Jesus. He's not even, like, trying to go after you. He just jumps over at you. Yes. Or jump, shoot, or jump, shoot, jump, oh shoot, my jump, God. shoot, jump. Oh, that one, he didn't, he didn't jump. Well, so the rare instance, he won't jump. In which case, keep shooting him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, now in all seriousness, he does actually have another attack where he waves his body around and does his ability, which is the rain flush. But you keep shooting him like I just did. Now, I, now you can see why people don't really like this fucking... Why people think that boss is a fucking joke. He is a joke. Oh my god, that's so bad. Yep. Rain flush! Oh! And new rush upgrade. Wow! Wow! We got Rush Marine. Oh cool. Adapter. Cool, now we go through the water. Wow, really? That's like the best first level to do! Jesus Christ! Yep. It's so easy! <laughs> And I know that the uh, weakness for this boss is actually Bright Man, but I actually want to go after another boss. Okay. Oh so wow, they didn't say to do? Dust Man. Oh, you're gonna go different. All right, cool. This is the guy I need to go after next. Okay, yeah, I did see the boss or It does say use Toad Man first use Mega Buster. <laughs> yes. Wow. Also, I never even battled Toad Man when I went through Mega Man Four. What the fuck? Why did I go after him? I went after freaking Dust Man first. I mean, Dustman isn't that hard either, in comparison to most of the other Robot Masters. He is in the middle of the order. But now it's... And I, I had somebody who was a Mega Man expert, who pretty much did tool-assisted, no-damage runs of Mega Man hacks and all that. He didn't tell me to go after Toe Man first. What the hell, man? God damn. Oh! oh what a cock The ratio's been in our favor. It only makes sense that they do that. God damn it. I mean, I lost one of my lives. I still have one left over, right? Yeah. Yeah. The right second chance is. Of course. Oh, yeah. Huh. Huh. This game's the introduction of another ally you have, apparently. Yes. Which I guess we'll be seeing in another stage at some point. I think I know who it is. Well, I only read the name. <laughs> if I'm correct, I think I might have missed something. Hmm. I might have to go back up and see, though. Well, they're not hitting collectibles, this I don't think game, right? I don't think it's this game, I think it's the next game I'm thinking of. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, I, the only one I know so far I had in collectibles... Because what I'm thinking of is probably in Mega Man 5. Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, Doki Doki blocks your back. Right. Except they... Huh. Well, that was simple. <laughs> they're actually more manageable. 
Oh yeah, you just gotta wait for the floor. You just wait for the floor, yeah. So, don't be impatient. Simple enough, wow. And you don't even disappear either, so it's actually pretty manageable. Hey, fuck off, would you? Oh my god, it's god. fucking flashing. Oh, they Jesus. actually do this. Wow, that guy was a dick. He did not get all people at all. I probably should have shown off Raven Flush there, but I didn't play. Ah. A lot, a lot of chainsaws in the back. Oh no, it's conveyor belts. Yeah, conveyor belts. They look like chainsaws! They do. Like, Jesus! They got the thing in the back, it looks like there's a motor! Jeez! I didn't know you could cut up dust like that. What the fuck? Well, I guess this is the oddball of the group. Yep. And now I'm just waiting to see what the Gutsman influenced bot is in this game, if there is one. I think there is one. There always, there's always one! Everyone gets one. Every game gets one. Well, yeah. Yeah, first one you have Gutsman, and then a Gutsman bot player! Oh, okay, no, there's one here. It feels like... Uh, yeah, I am probably thinking of five then. Yeah. Because five is the one that introduces, um, another character. The occurring character in the series. I yeah. say reoccurring, but... I could say the name of the one in this game, if you don't mind. I mean... Does he appear in this game? I think he does, yeah. His name is B. Nope. It's not, is it B or Eddie. Eddie. Oh. Eddie helped this idiot. Why did he appear in the No, oh, no, no, he didn't, no. Remember this first game that one named Eddie shows up? Yeah, this is where Eddie shows up, yeah. Five is when B shows up, and... Six, they continue with B. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. Yeah, I knew the name B. I saw Eddie, I was like, that sounds familiar? Yeah, Eddie... He's, is he the chest? He's the one that gives, uh, he's the one that shows the checkpoints. Okay. Okay, so that is the one I was thinking of. Okay, good. Wow. I didn't even look at what he actually was, and I was writing the name of the face. Good. I can't know more Speaking about the name I think he's here right now. Hi, Eddie. There he is. Well, perfect time to him, then. Yeah. Sometimes, I probably wish I came back down, which is that he could be good. Because sometimes he can give you something. Oh, like God. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, those will kill you. Some of them will kill you. Anyway. Okay. Some of them will kill you. So don't jump into it. Well, some will pull out crushing, I guess. Okay. Like, right now, it's not too bad. If that service was instant death, I'd be like, that's a little bullshit. <laughs> not all of it. Not... There are some areas that are uh, instant kill. Yeah. I imagine some of them actually hit the ground. Of yeah. course. Like that one right there. Ah. Uh... Okay, no. I know one of them does that. They're probably later in the stage. Here we go. Right, there. Yep. right here. That one. So I guess you gotta clear all the debris, then slide through there, and just run. Yep. So, yeah. Right, first come up, go! Oh, dick! Boo! Wow! Wow! He's the, um, dust thing. Jesus. Wow, that's... Okay, so you can... Wow, that's difficult, actually. Jesus! Yeah. You weren't kidding. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, then again, last time I played Mega Man 4 was years ago. Yeah. Last time I played it. What's here? Okay, nothing. Okay. Oh, good. At least ah, it's gumball machines. <laughs> one of my favorite enemies. No. One of my uh, favorite enemies to place in, um, when I win the Mega Maker challenge. Oh, yeah, the Mega Man Maker. That's right. You have been doing a lot of that. Yeah. I mean, like, five or six. I try to make as good a stage as I can. Yeah, I, I wish I could be... I wish I was motivated and creative enough to do stuff like that. I remember I originally got Mario Maker when that came out. I was like, you know, I could have a lot of fun with this. I made one level, and that's all the people do that level, so I was like, why do I bother? <laughs> but yeah, this is probably simpler and easier to make great. Yeah. It sucks is that there's still a lot of stuff missing, so that's why I haven't gone back to it yet. I'm waiting until, like, the leader packages come out, when they have more stuff in it. Alright, here we go, Dust Band! And how this guy works is he's gonna shoot, and, uh, and then try to suck, suck you in. Yeah. So when he shoots, just pretty much stay where you are, and just, um, time to jump. Right. Because that way you avoid, um, the stuff, um, avoid the extra oh, that comes out. Cool, stuck in the wall. Now just gonna the wall. Yeah. Do this. And time to, and just time to, like, nay it. Just gonna be irritating. Wow, this guy is evil. Yep. If only I can shoot you when you suck things in. At least it'll, like, absorb your shots and shoot them back at you. That'd be a dead move. That'd be interesting, but 
And yeah. he will be if you poop. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy's weak as a weapon we don't have. Something called Ring Boomerang. Yeah. Which I guess it's from Ring Man, so. That's Ring Man. And that's dead. And well. That was easy. Yep. Wow. I guess these bosses are well at least these first ones are easy. Is there a really hard boss in this game? I don't There's know. There's the a port the fortress itself is actually pretty challenging. Oh, okay. The fortress are really the challenging. Backs the challenge cover, okay. You got dust crusher. Cool. I can shoot dust at people. Oh, god damn it. I wanted to type in make but collectibles, but I hit completionist instead. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> so next up will be I got two options. I can go Fairman or I can go Storm. I'm gonna go Okay. Five more correct Fairman is too bad. Yeah. I I think know, like, even though I have one life left. Okay, I think a stage might be something though. His stage might be a pain. His stage might be a pain. Oh god, sand. Oh, quick sand, that's nice. Take sand. Stick me in. Oh god. In my shoes! Whatever the hell I have. It's coarse. It's dumb. Shut up, watch out! Oh, Shut up, Woodhouse. Or I'll. Or I'll. Or I'll request you to. Or I'll put sand in your feet little eyes. Of course, sir. I also need you to buy me sand, of course, sir. I don't think I need to tell you, but... Of course. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. Well, quicksand looks difficult from the start. Jesus. I would've just probably... Oh, right. We have... We ran out of lives. Forgot about that. Yeah. We didn't lose a life by the other stages. We lost two in the first stage. No, we lost two of them in the second stage. Because I found the pit twice. Ooh, you can trip you can trick Eddie in this game apparently. Yeah, basically if you don't grab the item, you can go back down the ladder or you uh, before you get in and afterwards you can keep uh, Okay, you can get him to give him something to one. Like a, you can get him to get You can get him to give you one ups and uh E tanks. Yes. Ooh. That's how people perform E tanks in this game. Whenever they see Eddie they um wait for him to pretty much drop down and if he drops an E tank, then they grab it. Yep. That's what I was trying to aim for, but I I kind of needed the energy anyway, so... Okay. I see. Oh, apparently this is the third boss in the order, where apparently Bright Man would have been the one after Toad Man. Because of his weakness, yeah. yeah oh yeah, by the way, here is a secret path, I think. I oh. that or I... must have missed it. Either that or I was supposed to go down, but whatever. I'm going this way. Oh, there are secret weapons. So you were thinking this game. There's one on this level. Here's one. That's the balloon power, apparently. Yep. All right, so they brought back a Mega Man 1 thing. Okay. Now we... Oh, it drops you right back where you would have gone anyway. Good. Basically oh, good. the power from... Uh, yeah, Mega Man 2, yeah. I don't know. It puts you right down the hole. Apparently the other secret weapons in Dive Man stage. Alright, thank you, Tip. This isn't one that I usually remember off the top of my head, but... I... I try to pride myself knowing a lot about these games. And, I, well... I like to say I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, they're, they're hard. I can't... I can't judge. <laughs> I can just say I suck in NES games. If you have a hard time with it, then, hey. I won't knock you for it. It's more of my pride oh. than anything else. Uh, the, only, the only NES game I might knock people for for not being great at is Mario 3. That might be the only one. Then again, that's like the one. <laughs> that's like the one for me. Oh, wow, yeah, this platform section's dick. Jesus! Bats following you, platforms you gotta ride, not jump on the spikes, not get shot! Oh, yeah, and uh, here's how it's up You just shoot the dust. Okay, it hits an enemy, then it. Spreads outward. So, okay. It's probably gonna be useful actually in this section because. Thank goodness for visibility frames. I'm just gonna up here. Yeah, that one you want to make. Okay, let me just make sure I know where Die Man is. Okay. 
Alright, that's really easy to remember. Sucks that I only have one life, but let's see what I can do. Alright, let's see how this goes. <coughs> oh god, a mummy! What the hell? He unwraps his head to throw at you? The fuck? Yeah, he throws his head at you. Huh! And then he keeps reloading heads. Jesus, how expendable are they? Actually, I think the better question is how many dead bodies are in there? How Good many lord! Dead how many dead bots are in there? Enough. I guess that's right. Huh. Anyways, here's Sparrow Man. He's with the Bright Man, apparently. Yes. He's. Oh god. Okay, and that weapon's pretty powerful. His weapon's very good, actually. And this is gonna suck because... The barrow shot. Uh, we're gonna have to do this stage over again because I died both times. Oh. Well, this stage is actually pretty short, though. This stage is short, yeah. Unless getting that collectible made you skip some of the stage and took you directly to the checkpoint. The checkpoint would have been when I fell down. Okay. The pit, so. Right, you skip the whole... I managed whole... to get the secret. The guy did suggest use rush coil to get across the gap. Yeah, but I was good enough to do that. Yeah. Apparently there's a cheat you do in this game to kill people with pharaoh shots without using energy. Probably good for the final boss. It's a pause it's a pause cheat, one of those. I wonder if that's taken out of the um... It says power up a shot, then hit something else while the shot is still building. Oh god. Then press the resist the... Freaking... The... Yeah. It. Hit something while the shot is build building. Press start, then resume play, and power up the shot again. Okay, so run into something while you're powering it up. Pause and unpause, and apparently you fire a charge shot without wasting energy. Yeah, this is the checkpoint right here, see? Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is one extra room. Alright. Oh, no, there's a little more. Oh, no, there is more. Yeah, I was gonna say, the stage felt really short because of that. <laughs> I probably should have gone through that checkpoint. I didn't think about it anymore. Well, hey, now we can... Oh, there we go. At least now I can see the whole stage, so maybe it was a good thing losing all those lives. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's an E-Tank waiting for me. Yep, there it is. There's that pretty E-Tank. Yeah. Brush coil! Or balloon! I love balloon. A nice balloon comes down a little bit after you land on it, too. Yeah. Give a little wiggle room in case you screw up Here's the jump. Here's checkpoint. Yeah, there it is. Well, good, now we have got an extra life and an E-Tank. All right. Now we're much better position. It's so beautiful. So beautiful that I could die. In fact, I might do it right now. <laughs> Wait, no! That's not what I want, damn it! Not right now. I said I could nope. die, not I want to die. Which might be I could die. I thought you meant both. God damn it! <laughs> we should shut up now. <laughs> not really. Just, uh, God damn it. Uh, but yeah, Mega Man 11 has been announced, and I'm looking forward to that. Oh, I'm yes. Say it. From what I've seen, it looks good. And it, it looks like it feels like an old Mega Man game, which is, you know, good. Yeah. Why don't they say how it'll stack up if they can if they can match up at least a quality of like nine and ten. Part of me hopes that they get back like KJ and Afune or something like that. Yeah. And god damn it, this Who knows? I mean we know they're develop they've been developing for a while, maybe. Maybe we should Yeah. Who knows, maybe? Hopefully it could be some young person who happened to be trying to be very faithful in Infinity's work. Yeah. In which case, good. I don't know that That's what a lot of the old game developers are getting worried about. If the young people are going to be able to create with the heart and soul, the old game developers did. Or you can just be like a lot of old, stubborn people and not give it, like I'm trying to, um, yeah. exact, you know... Yeah. Uh, I would That's say it, 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 it start for a while it felt like Nintendo's crush, but they're learning a little bit. But yeah, compromise. That's the thing. Yes. Really. Um, Everything still gives Miyamoto's input for the most part. So, I mean, that's fair. I didn't like it back in the GameCube era where he directly got himself involved with some of the things. Yeah. Damn you, Star Fox Adventures! Yeah, and uh, oh god. I guess uh, another person, I guess, um, that's something that I guess I'll give credit to Microsoft for. Because, like, now my one friend William is also, like, trying to boycott or something, I guess you could say. I understand why and everything. I, I don't understand hate their games. I do not hate their games. Like, it's here's the thing. Their business practices. It's just Sony's business practices in general. Mm -hmm. Because, like I said, 
Like Naughty Dog, um, Insomniac. Yeah. Like, yeah, those are the company that. No, those are great. Insomniac did a game for the Xbox, Xbox One as well. As well. And I heard that one was actually really good. Yeah, it's. Maybe it's something you should go buy. I do have it. I just haven't played it yet. I've heard it's very intense, although I heard it's best online, so I don't know how I want to approach playing that game my first time. I don't know, but it sounds good. I never want to give it a try. Here's Pharaoh Shot. Probably one of the best weapons in the game.